What's up guys, it's Alden Anthony. Welcome back to the Civic Vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. And in today's video, we're detailing a filthy engine. Let's go. All right guys, so here is a look at my 217,000 mile engine that I don't think has ever been detailed in its lifetime. And as you can see, this thing is absolutely filthy. So I'm gonna walk you through my steps today on how I detail something of this level of filth using a handful of products, using a handful of tools, and yada yada to hopefully make this thing look a ton better. Just to give you the basics here, we're gonna be cleaning the underside of the hood since this is filthy and Actually, I don't know how well it's gonna clean up, but we're gonna see what happens. And then this right here, obviously the heart of the beast, the D16 Y8 VTEC motor. So jumping straight into this, the first thing I'm going to do is pre-soak this entire engine bay with a wheel cleaner. Yes, you heard that correct. I'm using a wheel cleaner from Coach Chemi. It's called Magic Wheel Cleaner. It is a wheel cleaner that has a built-in iron remover. Why am I doing that? because this is probably so contaminated that it'll put on a good show and I think it'll actually do something. It'll actually help clean this thing. Then from there, we're gonna be rinsing this with a pressure washer and then taking an all-purpose cleaner. Uh, it's called Coach Kimmy Green Stars I'm gonna be using today. Uh, and then going through with a handful of brushes, agitating everything, rinsing, agitating, rinsing, agitating, you know, yada, yada. So um, one thing I wanna do before I get started though is I'm gonna be masking off this distributor here because 90s Hondas, don't like wet distributors. So I'm gonna be going through, masking that off. But honestly, I'm not gonna be forcing a ton of water into areas that I don't want water to go. So I'm not gonna sit there and soak the battery or the fuse box or anything like that. I'm gonna lightly go over those areas and then let most of the water run off do the work for me. So, so anyway, we have a lot to do today. Let's get started. All right, so I'm using a bag that is probably far too big for this task, but it's gonna do the job and it smells like mint. I'm gonna try to go through and wrap around the wires around the top of that. If you get your spark plug wires, that's not a big deal. That's all gonna be fine to get wet, but I just don't want the distributor itself getting absolutely soaked and forcing a bunch of water in there with a pressure washer. So I'm gonna kinda tuck that up like it's a little baby, get it nice and tight underneath there. And obviously you don't wanna do this on a hot engine, so let it cool off for at least a couple hours before you get started. So, so I'm gonna knock out the underside of the hood first. Why am I gonna do that? I'm gonna do that because a lot of that runoff will fall onto the engine. I don't wanna do a clean engine, then clean this, then have all that dirt fall down. So working from top to bottom here. So I'm gonna pre-soak the underside of this thing, pressure wash it and start agitating it with a couple of different brushes and that should clean up pretty good, we'll see. So taking my bucket of brushes here, we're gonna come over here and I'm going to take this soft gristle brush here. And this is, I mean, this is pretty soft guys. This isn't a, uh, a scrubbing brush by any means. It's meant for wheels and whatnot, but I'm gonna load my brush up with this wheel cleaner and then to come to the underside here and start. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's, that's filthy. I don't think this has ever been scrubbed or cleaned ever. Wow. This is building up a pretty nasty froth. Dip it back in my bucket, a little water on here, come to the other side. So see how much stuff we have on our brush here and on the front of my bumper apparently. We're gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of water. 
I'll most likely end up using that whole bottle of wheel cleaner on this job. Now, if you want to be cheap, which you obviously can, you can pick up some like super clean or purple power for something like this, especially if it's this level of filth. If it's not this bad, typically you can get away with using soap and water and an all purpose cleaner, but this is something where if I didn't have this wheel cleaner, if I didn't have some nice fancy chemicals, then I absolutely would use super clean or purple power because it's just, it's just cheaper. I'll rinse it one more time before I finish. Um, but honestly, I think it's just the quality of the paint that they used on the underside of this. A lot of this might need something super strong or it might just be primer. I have no idea. All right, so now we're gonna start focusing on the engine. So I'm gonna put on some gloves for this because it's gonna get pretty, uh, pretty grimy. You can see a lot of that dirt is already breaking down just from the pressure washer uh, and the water hitting it. So I think once we do a pre-spray, with that wheel cleaner, it's gonna do some serious work. All right, here we go. So you're gonna apply a ton of whatever the heck you're gonna use to clean. So whether you're using an all-purpose cleaner, like I said, like super clean or purple power, you're just gonna be spraying a lot. Try not to get, try not to get it into all the electrical connectors and trying to avoid anything that looks like a sensitive area, but it's already so dirty. It's like, you know, how much worse could it get? Well, could not start, but we're not gonna talk about that. This is doing some pretty serious work, guys. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> Holy fallout, it's all over this thing. All right, so we're gonna let that soak for probably, I don't know, two or three minutes and then rinse everything off. All right, now it's time to start rinsing. I'm gonna start probably in this front area here and start working my way back. You can see how purple this has turned from all the iron contaminants on here. It is crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Now, one thing I want to point out is that typically I don't pressure wash a whole lot of engines. It's not something I like to do. So I'll use steam most of the time or I'll use like a rinseless wash. It's just when it's this level of filth, you have to knock that down. You, you have to pressure wash it. Um, either that or you're going to be sitting there with brushes uh, and a sprayer of water or something for hours and hours and hours. And it's just not worth it at that point. But you could see that that already looks what, 60% better with just a rinse and a soak with a, uh, a very, a very good wheel cleaner. So. From here, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take this brush right here. It's called an Easy Detail Brush. And this is gonna be my kind of get into the cracks and crevices brush. So I'm gonna spray more of that wheel cleaner and I'm going to start getting in here and agitating areas that I wouldn't be able to get to with a, a larger brush. Next up, I'm going to take a little detailing brush, a small one, and I'm gonna start coming through and agitating a lot of these larger areas.
Now since the sun's coming out, I don't want this wheel cleaner to dry. So I'm just gonna kind of soak it periodically as I go along. All right, so this looks like night and day difference already. I'm like flinging water all over the place. Um, so what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take Green Star here. So Green Star is my all-purpose cleaner of choice for this job. And it's an alkaline based cleaner. So it's got some good strength to it. It's gonna help break down a lot of that extra gunk. So I think for here, I'm gonna pre-soak this by the fuel filter, power steering. So you can see how much product I'm using. I'm not being, um, <laughs> not being very conservative with this. I'm gonna try to blow through a lot of this bottle. I'm just trying to get this filth off. So I'm gonna get back here by the firewall and start scrubbing a lot of this because this is like the most unsightly thing, I think. This area was probably one of the dirtiest. Now this is gonna be a hard area to get to. That's why I have this brush to get behind these lines. So this valve cover here still has some grime on it. What I'm gonna do for this is I'm actually gonna use a stiffer bristle brush. So I have a in here floating somewhere little nylon scrubbing brush. Got this from Harbor Freight. And I'm actually going to really get in there with this guy. Oh my gosh, I can almost see the D16Y8 symbol down here. Almost. Gosh, guys, this is honestly, I thought this was gonna be way more intricate. I thought that this was gonna be just a nightmare of a detail job, but honestly, it's not that bad. It was just a lot of surface dust, a lot of surface dirt. Oh my God, that looks so much better. So, so much better. A few brushes, a little bit cleaner, a little bit wheel cleaner. Looks fantastic. So um, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I'm not going for perfect. I'm going for just a lot better so I can actually work on the engine. And then from there, I can go into more intricate details if I want to do that. But, but really this engine's staying stock and I want it to stay and look stock. So I'm pretty happy with this. So what I'm going to do for the last step here is I'm going to hit it with some more magic wheel cleaner. Basically do one more douse. Anything I missed, I'm going to have that break that down and then do a complete rinse and then call it good. All right, so the final step now is dressing the engine. This means that you're basically adding a little bit of shine, making it look a little bit newer. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use the Koch Chemi Motor Plast Special Engine Conserver. What it says is that it actually protects by putting like some type of, it's like a kind of like a sealant, if you will, um, and protects your electrical connectors and all sorts of components and stuff. So it kind of coats everything uh, and makes everything hydrophilic. So basically water just doesn't stick to it and it falls right off. So uh, I'm gonna use this today. It uh. Yeah, just spray it on. So I think I'm just honestly just, just gonna start coating stuff. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's best on plastics, but you can pretty much put it on, put on everything. So I think from here, uh, we're just gonna let it bake. So I'm gonna close the hood, um, let it do its work on a water-based dressing you apply it to a wet vehicle or apply it to a wet engine bay, and then it kind of mixes with the water and then creates a perfectly flat finish. So it does all the work for you. So it's gonna look even better than, than this after it sits for, I don't know, maybe an hour or two. So you don't wanna drive it after you apply this. You wanna let it just kind of sit 
and soak in. I think it's gonna look awesome. So we're gonna close the hood, let it soak, and I'll be out here in, I don't know, maybe an hour or so to check it out. A few moments later. All right guys, so it's been about an hour, hour and a half or so since I applied the motor plast, and I can't wait to show you what this looks like. Now, one quick thing I wanna point out is that I did use a leaf blower to blow out a lot of the excess water out of the bay, uh, mainly for the fact that I had a lot of that stuff kind of sitting near, near electrical connectors and sitting near the fuse box and whatnot. I didn't really feel comfortable doing that. So I uh, blew out a lot of that extra water, um, but still left that motor plast sit on the surface area. So let's check it out. I'm excited. This is like baking a cake. I'm looking at the cake after it's finished. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. That, that looks good, man. Wow, that looks so good. I can't believe it. Still have a little bit of some excess dressing here that I can clean up with a microfiber towel, but Wow, everything is nice and smooth to the touch. That's crazy. That is night and day difference, guys. That looks so good. So I'm gonna take a microfiber towel here and kind of wipe down a little bit of the excess dressing that was still left on the surface, kind of flatten it out a little bit. You can see I have some that kind of built up in some of these corners here, but just kind of wipe it down, level it all out. I wouldn't say, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as to say like new, but this definitely doesn't look like a 200,000 mile engine anymore, that's for sure. Guys, I'm super pumped with this. So hopefully you guys found this information useful if you're in the same situation. Uh, again, if you're using that much water like I was using, be careful. Make sure that you're not spraying into areas that don't need it. Mask off your distributor, mask off any other sensitive areas, um, and you should be totally fine, but just kind of be cognizant um, that you are spraying a pretty exposed engine bay. And so, um, and then depending on what cleaner you use, you also wanna make sure to rinse off your panels, rinse them off so that a lot of that cleaner will fly out from the engine bay and land on your fenders, it'll land on your windshield, it'll land on your hood, your bumper and all of that. And so make sure as you're going along to rinse those areas and wipe them down as needed so they don't ruin your paint, um, stain them or anything like that so um, I'm super happy guys I'm pumped so I'm gonna try to put down as many products in the description as I can and some other cheaper alternatives that I think will still do the same job all right guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the process maybe learn something or just found it entertaining uh, and as always if you guys like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more Honda Civic content and stay tuned for the after shots it's all Anthony peace